Welcome back. Super excited. In this lesson, I'm going to demonstrate how to customize your app and include an animation. That was something new. I've not uh, included this in the previous lectures. So something I'm very excited about and something that you can uh, take your existing app and you can animate it. In other words, you can add like GIF animations. That's exactly what I'm going to demonstrate. And then, of course, you can take it from there. So let's jump right in. Before I, in fact, open any one of these apps that we've created so far, I'm going to go ahead and first show you how you can obtain free images, free animated images, if you don't have them already. So let's navigate to a site called loading.io. So all you need to do is just navigate to this URL and you can log in or create an account is free. So once you're logged in, and of course, I'm not going to demonstrate that you can take it as a homework and kind of create an account here for free. So once you're on this site and logged in, if you scroll down, you'll notice there are hundreds of options available for you to kind of browse through. And depending on your own need or the requirement of your own Power App, you can create or download any one of these images. So for instance, if I would like to download this particular gear icon, all I need to do is click on the gear icon and then click on the GIF button here. It's gonna bring up a screen, it's gonna say free download, which is fine. I'm gonna go ahead and click on it. This is gonna download the GIF image to my own computer. And of course, I can later use it in my Power Apps. So once it's downloaded, Click on download once again, brings up the Windows Explorer, and of course, just save. And this is going to go ahead and download it for you. So let's close out of here. So you get the idea, right? I'm going to close it for now. You can similarly browse through any one of these free ones. There are several ones that are available if you scroll down. And there are other options that are available to you. Of course, you can purchase them if you need to, because these are all customized GIF images created by other users. But there are several free ones that you can typically use that I've demonstrated. So once you have these GIF images, let me navigate back to our Power Apps. I'm going to open up any one of these apps. Let's say this budget app. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the three ellipses and I'm going to edit it. So let's click on edit. This is going to open a new tab. So once the tab is opened and our app is displayed, I would have the ability to Simply insert an image. That's all I'm going to do. It's fairly straightforward. It's not that difficult. But it gives you a good idea of how you can really animate your apps so that the users looking at the app are kind of looks nice. Okay? It gives a little nice touch to it. Perfect. So once you're in the edit mode, what you need to do is click on insert, click on media, an image. And of course, you can place the image wherever you would like. There's another image. I'm going to go ahead and delete this. It's bigger. I'm going to drag this image right on the top bar here. Maybe that's where I would like my image to be. And this is again just the title. You can place it anywhere within your app on any screen. So I'm going to go ahead from the right navigation, simply click on select an image. Go ahead, click on add an image file. This is going to open up the Windows Explorer one more time. And let's see. Let's go ahead and pick these ellipses. Click open, and this is going to load the media and insert the image for you. Just leave that straightforward. There you go, perfect. Make this zoom in a little bit. There we go. So now you have a wonderful GIF image right on your app. Let's go ahead and preview it. So that way you can very easily insert animated GIFs right on your Power App. And of course, you can place it anywhere you like. Go ahead, try it out with other images, practice with this. If you have any questions, post in the discussion area. I'll be happy to help with this. Let's move to the next lesson.